Last night was an experience. But I don't think you've changed quite as much as some might think. I'd recognize that vigor anywhere. It sounds like the city's trying to get back on its feet already. Normal life is returning. Which means things are about to become decidedly more difficult for you. Perhaps you could wear a mask. Say you're a leper or have taken religious vows to conceal your face. For a time, perhaps. Deception and concealment has been part of my life for so long. But this is different. This is beyond me. After what this city's been through, people will scarcely tolerate cuttlefish at the fishmonger's stall, never mind a full-blown mind flare in their midst. Do you know what this means? You deserve to be vaunted, adored. Statues in your image should stand on every square. A whole generation of babies should be named in your honor. But it will not be so. All those people you saved, most of them will never know what you did. But you know, and so do I. I'll never forget. I need to get you out of here. It was difficult enough smuggling you in here covered in cloaks. It'll only get worse as normalcy returns. I can't. At least, not right now. I'm sorry. After everything that happened with my parents, with Shah. I need time to myself. Time to find myself. That would call for an awful lot of discretion, you know. Enough to make even a former Sharon take pause. But, after all we've been through, I really should know better than to doubt you, shouldn't I? All right. Let's try. We've gotten this far after all. Just let me do the talking. You'd be amazed what a pretty face can get away with. <laughs> 